Everybody, what's up? July 24th. Haven't done one of these videos in a while. Just talking to you guys about stuff. Have some pretty cool things coming that I really wanted to share with you. Four things today. Keeping it really fast, keep it really simple. In fact, just about to go for a bike ride, so probably gonna overlay this video with some of that ride so you don't have to stare at my face the entire time. Number one, channel's grown a lot lately. So if you're new here, especially if you're like a new triathlete um, and any of my videos have helped you out, I'm super happy about that. I love to see that that number's getting bigger. Uh, it means more of you are getting stuff out of this. It encourages me to keep going. Number two, super quick mini review. I don't do a lot of product reviews on this channel just because I like to use stuff a lot before I give my opinion on it. And I also, the sport's not all about buying crap. That said, these Jordana bib shorts are kind of a, a thumbs down for me right now. This is actually the second pair I've owned of them. Pair number one, the chamois ripped like within two or three washes and I don't even dry my stuff. I just hang dry it. Uh, so super bad quality control. Didn't tell you guys about it. Cause I was like, well, maybe, you know, manufacturing error or whatever. Got a warranty replacement for it. Uh, the current pair of shorts that I'm wearing right now has definitely less than a thousand miles on it. It's doing the exact same thing. So that is a big thumbs down for me. If you have bib short recommendations, feel free to let me know. In the past I've used Castelli and Pearl Izumi, both of which have been really good for me. Number three, I currently live in Charlotte, North Carolina, which you can probably tell by the gorgeous weather. It's actually 85 degrees today. It's one of the coolest days it's been. Moved here to work for the Ability Experience. Some of you have asked like what these jerseys are that I wear. It does a lot of things, but one of the things that the Ability Experience does is enables access to sport for people with disabilities. So have been really proud and uh, honored to get to share that message with you guys. Uh, some of you may have seen the video I did last year where I got to be on a three-person team pushing a wonderful woman in a wheelchair at the Marine Corps Marathon. We organize cross-country bike rides every single year from the West Coast all the way to the U.S. Capitol. I'm originally from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, which is how I got into triathlon. The original Coeur d'Alene Ironman was there for like 15 years, and I volunteered at that growing up, really loved it. That's what got me into the sport. I've always had a dream of living in Seattle. Excited to announce that I'll be moving to Seattle, um, back to the Northwest, which I'm really excited about. We're actually moving in uh, just under a week. Moving to Seattle is gonna allow me to accomplish another goal of mine, which is uh, I did Ironman Chattanooga last year, which is my first Ironman. Have no regrets, loved the race, loved the city, but I didn't get to swim because of that flooding. I got called an Ironman and I got my Ironman medal and I consider myself to have done an Ironman, but I will admit that I'm kind of tired of telling people that I did an Ironman. The first thing people say is like, oh, what was the swim like? And I have to say, like, well, actually, I didn't get to swim. Kind of have some unfinished business there. I signed up for Ironman Penticton, which is going uh, back to Penticton, BC from Whistler. The history of Penticton, you know, that's been a race in the Ironman circuit for something like 30 years now tons and tons of Ironman history there. It takes me back to my Northwest roots, right? It's a lake swim. Uh, there's rumors that it's actually gonna be a mass start swim. So rather than, you know, single filing into the, the lake or river, basically everybody starts on the beach and rushes in and it's kind of a madhouse, uh, just the classic throwback way. Tons of Ironman history has gone down there. Um, mountain race, you know, not quite like the Coeur d'Alene mountains like I'm used to, but just to be back in the Rockies doing a lake swim. Said in the past that I wouldn't do Ironmans in back-to-back -back years, so this year I did two ultras at the start of the year. Part of the motivation for me to sign up for Penticton was honestly just to be able to get to share that with you guys. Motivation comes and motivation goes for everyone. You know, it took me a little bit to actually sign up. Thinking about getting to share that with you guys, I met a lot of you who watched the videos in Chattanooga. It would be really awesome to see you guys there. I'm just really looking forward to getting back into the build cycle. I hope you guys are having a great summer yourselves. It's July, which in the south is super, super hot, but I know in like the northwest, this is like prime race season. So if you guys have races going on right now, hope you're freaking killing it. I'm going to go ride, which you've probably already watched. Calling it a day. I will see you from Seattle.